end with our cocooning practice. And I'm going to show you how you can end with some flips in the cocoon too. I'm going to face away just so you can see me when I'm upside down. And then we'll record our long relaxation. So the first thing I like to do when I'm in cocoon is come into Viparita with the legs up the sides. And from here, we can get into a bunch of different variations. But after I take a few minutes to just drop in and relax, I like to push one hip down and the other hip down. And you can see it's a little bit more dynamic than just meditation or final relaxation. I'm really working my legs and creating a little bit more mobility in the swing, which just feels really good on the hips. So that's one way that I do a little bit more advanced movements. And then I'm going to get the swing perfectly on my shoulders, not the neck, but the shoulders. So you have to kind of get it right into the sweet spot. Maybe that takes a couple times, but I like to get it just right. I'm going to reach up, grab for the outer edge here, bring my legs wide and around feet together, and then hands to prayer for a, a shoulder stand. It's kind of like a bat pose, <laughs> right? So my neck is happy. It's not on the C7 joint. It's really being supported by the shoulders. And then if I wanted to flip out, I call it, I hold on to the swing, I come over, and then hands to stand. I can come on out like that. But just one more thing that I showed you with the flip, which is kind of like sore, that we'll do one more time here, and it is with the leg loops on. So same idea, I'm gonna put the leg loops on. This is obviously while we're in playtime mode and not meditation mode. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and stretch the leg loops fully extended. And then if I feel comfortable putting the swing on my shoulders again, when I do my flip, I'm gonna have my legs extended which is just this really cool experience of being able to play upside down. So I don't want to come out all the way. <laughs> I want to make sure my shoulders are locked in there. But once I'm locked in, I can really go for it and do some dynamic movements. Okay, I'm going to turn around and face the camera now that we know how we can go into some acrobatics from our cocooning. I'm going to drop it down into final relaxation. We've had an amazing day of flipping and flying fun. So now I want to give our players a chance to really deeply rest. I'm also going to put on a guided meditation at the end here after we get comfy. Okay, so we get a nice big handful and we stretch it down and we slide it to the knees. And I'm going to run through the whole sequence that we do. The first one I like to do is make sure the swing is above the head. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring my feet in, feet together, knees open wide for butterfly. If I do butterfly legs, I am going to wrap my arms over my chest. I just like to give myself a big hug, fingertips on the tops of the shoulders, the traps. <sighs> and I can relax. If I want to extend my legs, if bending the knees doesn't feel very spacious, I can extend my legs into a V shape and then my arms go up and overhead. And this is a really nice place to just spend five, 10 minutes straining. <laughs> Draining the tension out of the lower body. And like I was just showing, you can crush your hips down, moving from side to side. Real gentle, just releasing any last bits of tension that are hanging out in the pelvis. My arms are overhead, and then I'm going to hold on to the outer edges of the feet. I'm going to let my knees slide towards my armpits, and then I'm going to play like a happy baby would with alternating the legs. Maybe that means deeply bending one knee and straightening the other. Just find out what feels good for you today. Maybe from here we can come into a figure four and take a bent knee and put it over the straight leg and pull down. This is a version of reclined pigeon. Okay, and then we're going to straighten both legs, switch it up, bend the opposite knee, holding on to the straight leg, 
pulling it towards the chest, making a figure four with the legs, a version of pigeon. And now plow pose, straight legs holding on to the back of the calves, the Achilles, the heels, the toes, just bowing in with straight legs. Rolling the ankles around. Now we're gonna add a twist. I'm gonna straighten my right leg out towards you, horizontal with the earth. And then I'm going to bring my left leg over to the right and adding a twist. This feels really good. Maybe the heel can hook the back edge of the swing. Just take your time to get a nice deep stretch there. Let's switch sides. Pull both legs back up into a plow. Extend the left, holding on to the right. And then adding a twist, bringing the right foot over to the left side and maybe hooking the heel, pressing into the IT band, assisting with the stretch. Excellent. So typically what I do is go into my favorite pose from there, maybe repeat Viparita, Happy Baby, Plow, even child's pose is a great option where we bend the knees and wrap our arms around our shins and just give ourselves a big hug, send a wave of gratitude over the entire body. Being thankful for our breath, for our being, for this place, this space, this time. And then if you still feel like you want more space and to stretch out, our final pose is gonna be the legs extended. So I find one of my leg loops, I extend with the foot all the way in and stretch to the back of the knee. And then the second leg loop, I'm just going to place that over the foot and stretch it out. Make your final adjustments. <sighs> I like the arms overhead if you like your shoulders little bit more spacious if you like your arms just resting on your lap that's a good option or giving yourself a hug so sometimes it's good to curl in and pull the energy back in you can even bend the knees and other times it's good to keep the space and expand and extend out we're resting back resting our head back letting our heart blossom letting our belly soften letting our thoughts soften hips are heavy we just take some time to absorb the goodness of the practice, appreciate the hug and the holding that the swing allows, this divine embrace and this warm cloak of love. We're going to put on a meditation. Uh, it's a portal transformation meditation that happens to align with this powerful full moon eclipse. And we're just going to let ourselves drop in and receive this chakra healing, as well as letting ourselves absorb the benefits of our practice. <sighs> 